everybody, this is According to Des, more specifically for this segment, Movies According to Des, which you can find me on Facebook. I have a group on there where I like to discuss movies and post movies I want to see and trailers and stuff like that. You can also find me on WordPress where I will post this podcast as well, and I used to have written blogs on there, so check that out. And I also upload this to SoundCloud, and you could find me under According to Des on Twitter. So you might not know this about me as of yet, but I am a huge fan of Britt Marling. If you don't know her or her work, I definitely recommend that you check it out. She's a phenomenal actress, but also writer, director, producer, all of that stuff. She does everything, and she's just extremely talented, and I think she's going to go really far. I think her career is really going to take off. She hasn't been in too much as of yet, but everything she's been in has just been incredible. So recently I watched The Keeping Room that she stars in. It was directed by Daniel Barber and written by Julia Hart. It also stars Haley Steinfeld and Sam Ward. So The Keeping Room is about Britt Marling, who plays Augusta, and about her sister Louise, and their slave named Mad. So these three women are left alone during the American Civil War. Their brother and father went off to war and have not returned. And so it's just the three of them kind of fending for themselves, you know, doing the crops and the animals and all that jazz. The film kind of takes off when Augusta's sister gets bitten by a wild animal and she becomes ill. Augusta has to run into town to find some medicine, but everything's deserted. People have run off. People have been killed and dying, and it's a whole mess, but Augusta can't leave her sister sick and dying. So she braves it, and she just tries to go and find medicine for her sister. Along the way, she catches the attention of two men, and that's where this kind of takes off. So while I really liked this film, and it's about three women that are holding down the fort, being strong and independent and making the best of this war and this situation, I was pretty concerned that this film is basically fueled by rape. These two men are fixated on Augusta and they get it in their heads that they need to rape her and that's what this is about. They just go after her and the film is about them trying to survive against these two men that are terrorizing them and trying to rape them. While it was about these three women being independent and I think it's advertised as a kind of feminist movie, it's interesting that these three women are subject of such perpetrators and attacks and harassment. I don't know what that says about the film itself, but the whole time I was just really surprised that this entire plot is driven by these two men that want to rape this woman. It was pretty interesting. I mean, the acting was stellar. It was on point. Britt Marling, I can never say enough good things about her. She is just fantastic. The writing was great. The dialogue, I mean, the visuals were beautiful. I loved the end. I'm not going to give it away, obviously, but it was just a great scene. So while I really liked this movie, it was just the driving force of the film I found pretty peculiar. But I would check it out. Out of five stars, I give The Keeping Room a three. Definitely check it out. So let me know in the comments below what you thought about this film, what you think of Britt Marling, and if you've seen any of her other films. Okay, check me out on Movies According to Des. Until next time.